Now, overland flow distances. Overland flow distances are the longest distance from a watershed to its collector. The overland flow distance is used to calculate the thermal concentration of a given watershed. Generally, irregular shapes can be approximated to one of the shapes shown in figure 20.2. At times, an irregular drainage area may require the engineer to consider multiple overland flow distances, which looks like a circle with a tongue. The tongue may have a longer distance than the circle, but does not necessarily contribute very much to, be, to the overall drainage area. And this is shown in detail in figure 20.3 of CERM. An exam problem may require the examinee to find an overland flow length to estimate the time of concentration for a given watershed. So now let's take a look at figure 20.3 of CERM and an example on how to evaluate an irregular drainage area. Now the example shown here looks like a like a circle with a tongue, right? Now the tongue the tongue does increase the overland flow distance. However, based on the intensity duration frequency curve, the uh, longer overland flow time may offset the increase in area due to the tongue. Therefore, two runoffs need to be compared. One ignoring the tongue and the other one including the tongue. And then the runoff that yields the greater uh, surface runoff volume should be the one to be used. So please note that this may be a concept that might be tested on the P exam that for an irregular shape drainage area you may need to evaluate a couple of options for overland flow to determine your runoff.